The life of a New Orleans man who recently died after being beaten earlier this month was celebrated tonight. It came the same day as Arnold Red Jackson's accused killer, 25-year-old Garrett Ward, made his first court appearance. Jade Cunningham was at the vigil and has more on how Jackson is being remembered. This has been an extremely tough few weeks for Arnold Jackson's friends and family who tell me they're still just trying to understand why something like this could happen to such a good person. With candles lit, family and friends of Arnold Jackson said goodbye. I've known him since 65, 66, somewhere along that. I wish he was here with us right now. It really hurts that he's gone. The vigil was emotional for loved ones who all describe Jackson as kind hearted, someone whose life his nephew Jamal Johnson said says was brutally taken away. He cared for people a lot, and that's what, you know, I like, I love, I miss about him, that he was a good person, and, you know, it's just a tragic thing that happened to him. Documents state on January 6th, Jackson was kicked a couple of times by a highly intoxicated man who witnesses identified as 25-year-old Garrett Ward. Police also say Jackson went to the hospital with injuries, including a severe brain bleed. Two weeks later, on January 18th, Jackson died. This is close to me. You know, it, it does. It really does. The unexpected death has been hard for those who knew him, especially for friends who became family. Good guy, quiet, never messed with nobody, always hung to himself. That's how I remember him, because that's how he was. Which is why it was only right that on this night they remember him at his favorite bar. I'm going to miss him. I'm going to miss him a lot, because he really was a good person. Because for this uncle, grandfather, father, and friend, people weren't just saying goodbye, they were wishing him a happy birthday and knew it was a celebration he was smiling down on. He loved New Orleans, he loved, you know, the city period because, you know, this our home and this all, this is all we know. And I know he would have loved this. Today in court, Ward received a bond of $250,000. He's expected back in court next week. In Central City, Jay Cunningham, Eyewitness News. Award is facing a second degree murder charge, which in Louisiana, if found guilty, carries a mandatory life sentence.